I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to negotiate your next car deal and save you thousands. If you don't know who I am, my name's Tommy. I've been in the car industry for most of my adult life. I've done sales, I've done finance, I've done everything in between. Now I help people negotiate car deals, but enough about me. Let's talk about a step-by-step -step guide. Step one is evaluate your trade. So you're gonna take your trade, take your VIN, take your miles, and go to CarMax, Carvana, and Vroom and get a quote on what your car is worth. Step two is you're gonna get pre-approved. I normally like to go to PenFed or Consumer Credit Union to kind of get an idea what the rates are and then look at my local credit unions, but find a good rate and get pre-approved. Don't just look at one bank, look at multiple rates and find the best and then get pre-approved there. Now, if you're buying a new car, you wanna do everything online and over the phone. So I normally go online and try to find all the dealerships within a 250 mile radius that have the exact car I want. Once I do that, I inquire on each one. If you want a shortcut answer to this, you can go to the manufacturer website, build your car, and then have it send out your information to all the dealerships, and they will start flooding you with quotes. But you might not know if they have the exact vehicle you want. So a more precise route would actually be to research each dealership to make sure you have the right vehicle. How I normally look at the dealerships is I normally pick a few, every one from a big city. So let's just say I'm in Minnesota. I will pick every dealership that has that car in Minneapolis. And then I'll pick a few cities throughout there like Rochester or whatever, just to get an idea of a small city plus a big city quote so I can get the best quotes. Now, if you're buying a used car, the same thing applies. You want to find as many examples of the car that you want. I have a few videos on this, but realistically, I like to find the most expensive, the cheapest version, and then two of the ones that I actually want. So maybe somewhere in the middle, and then I like to ask for the best possible price on all four of those. Now you're gonna start communicating with dealerships. And with dealerships, when you have this many emails, I can sometimes have 30 to 40 emails at a time. I just like to create a template and you can use ChatGPT or do it yourself, doesn't matter, with a general thing to say that, hey, I am looking to buy this car. I'm looking to buy it in a day or two. I'd like your final answer or final price the best you can. I'm looking at these other dealerships and these are my quotes. What are your thoughts? And I'm gonna warn you, you're going to get flooded with communication, phone calls, emails, text messages. Everybody's gonna go all out. My best way to do it is via email or text message because it's the best way for me to communicate with multiple different dealerships. And when you are negotiating dealership to dealership and, and showing price from one to another, you do need to show those prices. So they're gonna ask to see a copy of where you're getting this quote from. Don't be afraid to show those. That's the best way to get those prices down from one car to another. And if people tell you they aren't negotiating right now, they absolutely are. If you can't get a good deal at a dealership, don't get stuck in that car, move on because 80% of dealerships are still negotiating and giving good deals on cars. Now, if the dealership's doing their job, they're gonna ask you for your trade and then you're just going to attach the best offer you got from Carvax, Vroom, Carvana, whatever it is, and say, if you can beat this, that's what it is. They'll normally ask for a few pictures, take three or four pictures of the car, let them know if there's any damages to the car and then miles on the vehicle and probably the VIN as well. As long as you have all that, they can try to beat that quote. Every single dealership, and I'm gonna repeat this four times, every single dealership, every single dealership, every single dealership is going to try to get you in store. They're gonna tell you the best price is in store, blah, 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 blah. That is not true, that is a lie. They are trying to get you in store because they are at home turf, and when they are at home turf, they control the power and they're more comfortable. You are telling people that I've already driven the car, I'm comfortable with the car, and I have multiple dealerships that are willing to give me quotes over the phone, so if you can't, no big deal, I'll buy my car elsewhere. I promise you, they will fold and they will give you numbers. You have to remember, dealerships make five times more money when you're in store versus in over the phone, so they're going to do everything they can, and that's what salespeople are trained. That's what the entire dealership model is trained, to get you in store. So understand that's gonna happen, you just have to know how to combat it. This whole process can take a day, two days, three days, four days, as long as you really want, but you're going through all these dealerships and you're getting all these quotes. And just a heads up, dealerships are their busiest on Saturdays. So if you're trying to do this on the middle of the Saturday during the rush, you're probably not gonna get many answers. The best way to negotiate over the phone is in the middle of the week, Tuesday to Thursday. And you wanna answer these questions the best you can. If somebody asks you how you're financing, I normally just tell them, I don't know yet. I'm considering financing with you. I'm considering with my bank. I'm just unsure. You don't have to lie to the dealership. People sometimes don't like that. And it's fine either way. You can tell them you're financing with them and then change your mind later. You are allowed to change your mind as a consumer. And plenty of people will say, be honest with the dealership. I'm honest with the dealership 95% of the time, but I am not going to show the entire hand of my poker hand when I don't have to. So just know, keep the cards to your table. That's the best way to negotiate. And then finally, just put it all together. Find the best quote you found on the car. And again, I'm gonna repeat this 10 times because I had a client that got a little upset that when we talked about we didn't find the cheapest example of a car, I will never tell you to buy the cheapest example of the car. I will always tell you to find the best example and get it at the best price. 
price is not everything. And I'm gonna repeat this as many times on every video I can. Finding the cheapest possible example of a car is normally not the best example of a car. And if you want a car that's gonna last, one you're gonna spend 30, 40, 50 thousand dollars on, you are going to find the best possible example of that car, and then you're going to get the best possible price. That's mainly for used cars, not new cars, but understand that's how I look at used cars. I find the best possible example, get the best possible price. And that's how I negotiate car deals. If you guys have more questions or something that I missed, don't be afraid to like, comment, subscribe for more, but thank you guys and have a great day.